Refrigerant 134A enters the compressor of a refrigeration system as a saturated vapor at 120 kPa and leaves as a superheated vapor at 500 kPa and 80 degrees Celsius at a rate of 0.08 kg per second. Determine the change of rate of energy transfer by mass of this compressor. Assume the kinetic and potential energies to be negligible. As always, pause here and try solving this problem yourself before you watch the solution. This is the third example for the flow work and open systems main lecture video. The links to that 11 minute video, the other examples for this topic and the other lectures of the thermodynamics course are found in the description below. Starting with the general expression we derived during the main lecture video and focusing on what we're being asked, the rates of energy transfers by mass, we cross out the kinetic energy and potential energy terms as told by the problem statement and see that the change of interest to us reduces to mi dot times hi minus me dot times he. And from the mass conservation, the mass flow rate is the same at the inlet and at the exit. We look up the specific enthalpy for saturated vapor of R134A at 120 kPa and write it down. That's our specific enthalpy inlet value. And for the exit, we look up superheated R134A at 500 kPa and 800 degrees Celsius and write down the specific enthalpy value. We substitute the values and calculate the change in energy rate to be minus 6.7 kilowatts. This, on its own, only tells us that the system is losing 6.71 kilojoules every second. However, this is only true when we're not taking into account heat and work terms. If, for example, we had some information about the heat, we could find how much power, work per unit time, we have to feed this compressor for it to operate. We'll get to this in the next main lecture video. If you want to watch some of the other examples on this topic or the other lectures of the thermal course and the other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links I left in the description below. Thanks for watching.